What's going on YouTube? Omar aka Tebow back with you again. It is Tamiya Tuesday and it is time for me to reveal my TTO2 that I built for the Stevo D313 build off number 5. Quick recap of what I have in this vehicle for those of you who haven't watched the previous videos. Started with a TTO2 kit, the Subaru Impreza Monte Carlo 99. It is being powered by my Futaba 4PX and of course the Futaba receiver. For the ESC and motor, ESC, I'm using a Hobbywing crawler brushed ESC, which by the way is a phenomenal ESC to use in any brushed vehicle. A lot of parameters you can change. It also has a BEC that you can put higher output on. Um, that is helpful for me because I'm using a Power HD 15 kilogram servo. So I'll be able to bump up the power on that to be able to get the higher torque um, as well as the faster response speed on that servo. And then the motor is just the torque tune that came in the kit. Um, I will tell you guys, this thing, it's been done for a day and a half and it's exceeded my expectations. The, the biggest part of this is that I went ahead and I got the Yeah Racing aluminum conversion kit for the TTO2. I got that in red. I'm sure you guys saw that in my previous video because I showed off what the chassis looks like with an abridged build. I can't believe how good this thing came out. I mean, I bought the parts. I knew it was going to look cool, but for the last day that it's been complete, I keep going back and looking at the kit and it is just absolutely stunning. Um, anyways, enough blabbering from me. Let's take a look at the car. There it is. So, in going with the red theme, I used Tamiya PS15 metallic red for the body. Of course, kept the Subaru livery on it because it's a rally car. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, this thing is just amazing. Um, it is not going to be a shelf queen. It will be run, but I am not going to be pushing this vehicle too hard. Oops, got a little lint from my... Uh, cloth that I cleaned this off with to get the fingerprints off of before I started filming this. Um, I think it came out just absolutely fantastic. As far as the build goes, there, there are no issues. The Yard uh, Racing parts went together just fine with the kit. In fact, there are so many parts left over that if I just have uh, a chassis and a couple diffs and some tires, I can build a whole nother car with it. That's how much I had left over. One of the other big pluses with the uh, racing kit is that it came with full ball bearings, so this thing is ball raced throughout. Um, I'm very pleased with how the paint came out. I was a little bit worried about the wing in terms of matching with the body color. Um, for those of you who've purchased this kit or built it, you know that the wing comes in a blue plastic. So all I did is I sprayed it silver um, and then covered it the, with the same PS15 uh, paint. On little bits like this, like the wing, and then the teacup mirror on the side, you know, I don't go and pick up the TS paint that's made for plastic just because um, it tends to hold up pretty well, unless it's a part that's going to be scraping and dragging on pavement or anything like that, in which case the paint will come off a little bit easier than uh, what the TS paint would do, which has a little bit more bite into the plastic. But from my experience, because I've done this on a number of different cars for little plastic bits like this, the uh, polycarbonate paint works just fine as long as you're not scratching it or having issues with it. Um, now that we've had a look at the car, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and just show you guys body on, body off. Uh, close-ups of it. I want you guys to get a good idea of what this thing looks like. Um, I'm very proud of it. Um, granted, I mean, it's not like I built anything custom for it, but the way that it turned out, uh, it turned out just stunning. Um, like I said, I just keep catching myself looking at this vehicle over and over again. Um, I'm going to cut to those in just a second, but before I do, as always, guys, if you enjoy my videos, please be sure to leave me a like on this and subscribe for more RC content. So, that being said, Let's go and get a closer look at the TTO2 Subaru Impreza Rally Monte Carlo 99. By the way, I've kind of given it a name because of all of the red theme. It's no longer a Subaru. This is my Subaru Red. <laughs> Silly joke, I know. All right, let's get into it.
So you guys can see, I used just the normal Subaru livery on this guy. And I didn't stray from it. I just thought it looks good and I figured it would look good in the red. And it really did come out looking fantastic with the red that's on there. Stickers went on there just beautifully. Uh, typical Tamiya quality. Um, for those of you who may wonder about the best way of cutting and applying these, myself personally, I always use an exact an exacto blade and I cut the stickers out. Um, I've done enough Tamiya kits that I've become quite accustomed to freehanding it and just being able to go. The PS15 came out really, really nice. Uh, just about the color that I wanted. I wanted it to again match the aluminum pieces that are on there. So um, as you can see too, Yeah Racing does include some red aluminum uh, wheel nuts. I don't recommend running those if you do get one of the Yeah Racing kits because they are not nylon wheel nuts. So if you're running hard, they will have a tendency to fall off. Also during the build, there are a number of parts that are metal on metal, so be sure that you use some thread lock on there to keep that from falling off. Um, one last thing I do want to mention in regards to the body posts. The only reason that the gold posts are still on there is I haven't decided on the body height. Per the instructions, I feel it's just a tad too low. It's what a streetcar would look like in the kind of uh, fitment that you would have in the wheel arches. But this is a rally car, and if you've seen an actual rally car, they have much higher ground clearance than a uh, consumer vehicle has. So um, I might go with where I have it right now. Um, I know it doesn't look like it's seated right, and part of that just has to do with the fact that I've been just moving it and the body clips are not on there. But uh, it has a good fitment. It's just one step up from what the instructions ask you to do with it. But the body came out gorgeous. Um, all the red just really kind of matches the red aluminum that's underneath. Uh, I am now going to go ahead and cut, take the body off, and then we'll be back and we'll take a look at all the gorgeous red bits that are underneath. All right. Now we are getting a look at all of the red that's under there from Yeah Racing. The red bits are all over the place. I mean, so many bits to go with. Front and rear A-arms. Front and rear adjustable upper arms. Front arm mounts. Front and rear suspension or shock uh, towers on there. The red propeller shaft, the red battery brace, the red aluminum steering arms, the red foam bumper holder, the nuts for the wheels. What am I missing? There's, oh yeah, the, the bevel gear shafts as well. Um, they are in red and of course the shocks. Um, Man, it just came out looking so good. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. Let's get a little bit better look. The rear end. The sides. As you can see, that HD power servo. It's also red, so it's a quick run ESC. I cut a lot of the wires just to simplify the wiring on there. Yeah, Racing does include a motor fan, which I didn't put on there, but I did put the motor fan mounts on there. I just think they look awesome in there in red as well. I've had the car running. I've ran it up and down uh, in my living room just to make sure everything on the vehicle is working, and it is. So again, just extremely, extremely pleased with how well this TTO2 turned out. So I'll let this guy spin for just an, another minute so you guys can get another uh, couple rotations and get an idea of what it looks like. Again, it just really exceeded my expectations. I ordered the parts. I knew what it was going to look like, but um, it is just a really, really good looking RC car. Anyways, that'll do it for this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.
stars never stop Shooting stars never stop Even when they reach the top